Today we are out here shooting a video that I'm gonna use for one of my like mini doc videos that you guys have probably seen on my channel. Something about these videos is normally I'm predominantly filming the entire thing by myself so I'm like solo filmmaking. In today's video I want to show you a behind the scenes look at that and show you how I make this entire video on your own like solo cinematic b-roll style and then towards the end of this video I'm going to show you guys what the footage actually all looks like once it's put in an edit. Without a doubt, the most important tool that you guys need for solo filmmaking is a tripod or some way to prop your camera up off the ground. If you don't have anywhere to put it to get like that diversity and angles, your video is going to look pretty weird if everything's like on the ground. So the tripod that we're going to be using is this really cool lightweight travel tripod from Small Rig. It's the AP20. It's full carbon fiber. It's got like these flip out legs so that it stores really nicely and this thing is ideal for travel filmmaking but also solo filmmaking because of how like easy it is to take around and it does everything that you're gonna need it to do. Something really nice about this tripod it's just got the Arca Swiss plate on top so you can easily like put it put your camera on and off and swap between anything else maybe you wanted to put on a gimbal or whatever it's really nice and convenient with the arca swiss one something else that it has really cool is because i'm going to be putting my tripod out here on the side of the road it's all uneven terrain and they have this unique ball head design that you can very easily just like get your camera level it also has a little bubble level guy so you can make sure that your shots are going to be correct you can also shoot in portrait mode like this if you want to if you guys are shooting reels or if using this for photos we are not going to we're going to stay in landscape and we're going to get a nice zoomed in shot to create some compression of just coming down the road. We're gonna keep going and we're gonna get another shot from driving from behind us. We can kind of look into the light, which is gonna be quite nice. We can even stay right here where we are. Okay, I wanna get a couple of different shots from inside the van actually because I think it's really going to add to it. One of them is going to be looking forward and showing the road and the other one is going to be kind of looking back onto me like this. So something really nice about this tripod is you can set the legs at all different like increments. You can either make them really steep or you can make them really wide and like span out where it can actually go like all the way flat. So I want to make it perfectly fit on the seat. But then I'm going to make this front one like really long. And another nice thing about this tripod is that you have this middle column that's independent and you can lift up the height as well. So we're going to sit somewhere here. I think that's quite cool. We got like the sun in the background. And I'm just going to do it like that. Pretty happy with that, we don't need a crazy amount. So I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna swap to get a shot of myself as well. Let's level it out inside, it's got the little bubble level over there. Okay, that's looking cool. Cool lighting. Okay, and then a little bit of driving. Okay, as we were driving, there's a uh, this really cool puddle. So we absolutely need a shot of the van driving through the puddle with the water splashing. That's gonna look really, really cool. I'll shoot it in slow mo. Maybe this could actually be like our opening shot, and I'll have the lock off of the puddle, and then the van. You'll like hear the sound of the van, and then all of a sudden the van will just come through the puddle. <sighs> That's the idea, at least. So let's set one up. Ah, oh, that's really cool actually. That's super cool. Okay, that's probably gonna be our opening shot. Let's move on. We're getting down to the beach. We're like pretty limited for light. So we're hurrying through all of the shots, but that one, 
Looks super cool. This is kind of where we're gonna arrive and like stop with the van. So I'm gonna set up a nice shot here where I can stop and get out and then we're gonna get some shots of actually walking down. And I think I wanna try to get some foreground in my shot to make it interesting. So I'm gonna start with one from here. So we're gonna get one like that and then just stop the van in front of it. One of my biggest kind of goals whenever I'm filming by myself is to make it feel like you're not filming by yourself. And one of the easiest ways that I find that you can do that is by getting multiple different like angles of the same action. So that was a really nice wide one, obviously. We're gonna get a close up of the same thing and you can cut between them a lot of the time. And just make it kind of feel like it's not just you filming it yourself, even though it is. Um, something else that we can do to help with that is just change our perspective a lot. So this tripod although it's really small and packed up check out how tall we can get with this guy and i'm gonna see if i can get a really nice high angle shot of me getting out of the car we can lift this up all the way pretty standard some tripods have that but i don't think i've ever seen one that has a dual extension on the middle piece so now we have this like huge center arm we can get really nice and close Use our ball head to just reframe a bit. And then that's gonna be our shot. Really nice, interesting, unique perspective. I can kind of get some like nice separation from the background. So I'm gonna put this at its lowest setting. And then as I walk around the corner there, I'll be like sticking out from the horizon quite nicely. Okay, we're working towards the end of our video here. And there's a cool little like rock that I can kind of walk to and look out into the waves. So I'm gonna set up a nice shot from here and I wanna do couple of different angles of the same shot so I start off with one that's like relatively wide and just walk in and kind of stop there as like a nice ending scene so I'll frame it up like that and then I'll just walk onto it one of my favorite things to do when shooting solo is just to create movement in the shot so if I frame up a shot here with my feet slightly wider than I actually want it I can digitally zoom in and then pan or slide across with my feet and it will create some nice movement. To stay with the theme of like trying to get movement in our shots, I'm gonna get a little selfie shot. And if you'll notice on this tripod, it has a couple of secret little weapons. This has a nice little handle here and this leg does something different from the others, which I'm gonna show you on the next shot. But for now, I can use it as a really nice selfie handle to get the camera a little further away from me because I don't have the widest lens with me right now. So I'm just gonna get one like this and walk up and then it's just gonna have like a nice detail of my face kind of. Another way that I really like to add movement into my solo B-roll is by getting cutaways of other things that not every single shot needs me in it. So I'm gonna get a couple of cutaways of the ocean, kind of the view that I was just looking at. And the really cool, unique little trick that we can do right here is that this leg actually unscrews and becomes a monopod. I wanna get some nice zoomed in shots. So I don't want it to be too shaky. So I can just use this as a bit of support. Still have my ball head on. And that's really gonna help me out just to stabilize, especially if I was on like a much longer lens. Now I can basically be here and it's still gonna have like some natural movement in it because I want that movement I don't want it to be like locked off on the tripod and I can also keep it stable enough and we've even got some sunshine coming out okay I'm gonna get one last like ending shot now that the sun's come out nicely I'm just gonna get something looking back onto my face as like just a nice ender like to kind of set the tone so I'm gonna get something here and then just look back onto where I was up there. That's gonna be it for all the shots that we need, nice and simple, but I think it'll be a cool little video for what I actually need to make. I am gonna show you guys the edited version with some like cool music and effects now, so let's roll that and see what you think.
So that was it. I hope you guys liked it. It was really fun shooting out here. We were really quick and easy with this tripod making it really convenient to like change the angles and everything when you guys are filming solo b-roll. If you want to find out anything more about this tripod, it's going to be linked in the top of the description. I've been filming so much solo stuff lately and traveling so much lately and this is the tripod that I'm going to be taking on all of my traveling trips. It, it's like super essential, really nice and light, fits down so small which is really important as well. So if you guys do want to check it out, it is going to be in the top of the description. Other than that, have fun, bye. Oh,